Now, there's a relationship between unemployment and GDP, as stated by the Okun's Law. So, Okun's Law describes the relationship between production output and employment. What is important here is to understand that whenever there is an increase in unemployment, okay, there will be a fall or a decrease in GDP and vice versa. So in other words, if there is a decrease in unemployment, there is going to be an increase or a rise in GDP. We have Okun's coefficients. Uh, he actually gave units or percentage units for the rise and fall of the GDP and the unemployment rate. When the unemployment rate decreases by 1%, the GDP will rise by 2%. When unemployment increases by 1%, the GDP will fall by 2%. Just remember, GDP is always 2, 2 units. Unemployment is always 1, 1 unit. When GDP changes by 2 units or 2%, there is a corresponding change in the opposite direction in unemployment by 1 or 1%. 1 so as illustrated by this graph over here, so you see here, okay, So there's a change in unemployment. There is a change here in GDP from 1 to 3. We have a 1 unit change here in unemployment. And then we have a 2 unit change here in GDP. When GDP goes up, we have the change here in this direction you will see that our unemployment rate falls. So GDP change is 2 units, no? and unemployment rate change is 1 unit. Okay, so that ends our lesson for Okun's Law. Thank you all for listening.